members of the British Designer Collective at Vista Village. And today I'm talking with Henry Holland. Henry, hello. Hi. Um, I wanted to start off by asking you a really general question. Okay. Um, and I wondered about how and when you first became interested in fashion. Fashion's just always been something that I've always loved for so many different reasons and it's always just been um, a part of who I am and, and a part of so many things that I remember fondly and, and love to sort of mess around with and play with. And you initially started off kind of approaching fashion from a sort of journalistic point yeah. of view. How did you make the switch from that into, into actually designing clothes? So I grew up in a place called Ramsbottom, um, which there isn't really uh, many people that work in fashion in Ramsbottom. When I was starting to think about university uh, degrees and what I was going to do at university, I didn't even know that there were degrees in fashion, and I think that's just me being a bit naive and just from where I grew up and the people I grew up around. I decided I was going to do journalism, and then I, my plan uh, was to apply my journalistic skills to write about fashion once I'd trained. And then I got to my journalism course at university and they were like, when you go and work at a local newspaper and when you report on like local council meetings and I was like, eh, I was like, this is not what I'm going to do. So I panicked and I tried to move to a fashion course and they were like, sorry, it's full. So rather than sit it out and wait for space, I just made my course fashion by doing internships, work experience, assistant stylist. Uh, literally did anything and everything and found myself in teen magazines and so that was my sort of fashion and journalistic uh, side and then I, I worked my way up when I was fashion editor of Smash It before it uh, disappeared and also a teen magazine called Bliss. What would you say is your design trademark, the Hansel Holland trademark? Um, I think it's a self-effacing sense of humour, it's a playful, uh, colourful, uh, tongue-in-cheek, in-your-face attitude. The challenge has been since then has been building and evolving a visual aesthetic that retains those sensibilities um, and doing that to the right level whilst retaining the right amount of humour um, and not being vulgar or not being costume or not being, you know, it's all of these things that are kind of pitfalls, I see as pitfalls of some of those qualities. I think now as well the clothes that you're creating now do appeal to a more sophisticated consumer in yeah. a sense. Yeah, I think that's just a natural evolution as a, as a designer and as a team of people that work on those clothes. We're, um, we're older, we're growing up and you, you know, as a, as a man designing women's wear you design for the women in your life. You design for the people around you and design for the people that you know and love and spend time with. Again, kind of touching on that, how would you characterise the, the House of Holland customer? I'd say that she was bold and playful um, and that she has a strong sense of self. I sometimes say the phrase bold to the point of obnoxious uh, because I think that some of my clothes have those traits to them um, and I think that um, it's, it's, it's a collection or the clothes that we create or clothes that we create for people to make them feel a certain way and we want them to, to wear them as a badge of honour and to sort of, they, those clothes are a way of telling people who they are and that they have got a sense of humour and that they are brash and bold and playful and they, you know, they're a laugh. How would you describe British style? British style, is, I mean it's such a cop out answer but I feel like British style is really eclectic because, and I think more so than so many other um, fashion capitals in a way, you know, you have certain words that you can characterise Milan by, for example, you know, and Paris is very kind of old establishment and very artistic and very couture based and then London's always had these very individual aesthetics that have all come under this umbrella because of where we live and where we work and I think that that is testament to the city itself and the, the melting pot of people and cultures and things that you experience if you live here. Um, and you know, so many people are called London designers because they live and work here, but they're not from London. They're from um, Serbia. I can see Alexander skirt behind you, uh, or they're from uh, Scotland, or they're from Glasgow. You know, so they they live and work in London, but they're from all over the world because so often they train here because of St Martin's and the fashion colleges that we have here. So it does feel quite eclectic. And whilst people fall under that London umbrella because it's quite creative and um, it's often quite forward-thinking and avant-garde in many ways. I'm interested in the Middle East, kind of China, in sort of emerging markets, how, yeah. people, how people buy your clothes, because I think your clothes 
perhaps out of everybody, seems so incredibly British to me. Mm. Um, I'm just very interested in how those different, those cultures that are so very different, how they buy into House of Holland and what you feel they're coming to you for. Yeah, I think um, we we have a, a strong visual aesthetic as well as that humorous thing that I try and instill in the collections. And I think the humor is something that sometimes is difficult to portray and get people to buy into, but they'll buy into the collection for other reasons, un unaware sometimes of what it means. Mm. What do you find exciting about being part of the British Designer Collective at Mr Village? What I find exciting about the, the Designer Collective really is the, the way that it's curated. The fact that um, we're able to um, showcase the collection and sit alongside our contemporaries and, um, and our friends in many cases and sell the collection in that sort of environment but put together in such a nice, well thought about way, well curated way is just a really great way to be able to sell those, those pieces for us. Fantastic. Henry Holland, thank you very much. Thank you.